In the early days of spraying, the application was both a science and an art, with the emphasis on the art. With the early sprayers, the applicator selected a spray tip size based on the rate required and matched the rate with a specific pressure and field speed. This speed and pressure application worked fairly well when the speed could be held constant. Improved equipment fostered larger speed ranges which produced larger variations of pressure. It became more of a challenge to maintain a constant rate through a particular tip. Then came electronic rate controllers that could automatically adjust the product flow in concert with an improved 2 to 1 ratio in the change of speed, and yet produce a constant gallon per acre rate. The operator could deviate from a nearly constant speed requirement and still be assured of a constant rate. Further equipment capability pushed the speed envelope. With higher speeds came exponentially greater pressure variations which created large droplet size variations, fostering new concerns for product coverage if the droplets got too big, and for undesirable off-target applications, known as drift, if the droplets got too small. Field application practices had to change to manage drift concerns. This resulted in a costly loss of efficiency, even with advances in spray tip technology. AIM Command solves the pressure control challenge. It provides the operator a constant pressure throughout an impressive 8 to 1 speed range while maintaining the desired gallons per acre throughout the same tip. In practice, that means the operator can apply 10 gallons per acre of product at 24 miles per hour and 40 psi and then be able to slow down to 3 miles per hour, still do 10 gallons per acre at the same 40 psi without changing tips. Operators are first stunned and then jubilant. With AIM command, the operator can also toggle on the go between two preset pressures. The operator can spray the field perimeter at lower pressure with bigger droplets as fast as he desires. Then the rest of the field can be sprayed at a higher pressure without changing tips or changing rate. He can even increase his field speed. This selective drift control capability dramatically improves the operation efficiency while minimizing off-target application concerns. The AIM command controls the flow and pressure right at the nozzle, which means instantaneous flow shutoff and starts, which is extremely helpful at the end of rows and coming out of corners. How does it work? AIM Command continuously monitors liquid rate and boom pressure using computer technology to modify the duty cycle of pulse width modulation valves located at the nozzle body. This high speed monitoring is able to secure a constant rate and a constant pressure within an 8 to 1 speed range. Amazing! Simple but profound. Yes, while the art of application is still required, operators express a desire for all the help they can get. Spraying without AIM command from Case IH application equipment is no longer an option for them. For AIM command users, application is still a science and an art, but with a little less emphasis on the art and a lot more emphasis on productivity and profitability.